Hi everybody, I'm Michael. I'm a landscape architect and environmentalist, and today we're gonna to go over the striped wax fan, how you can grow it. It's also known as Hoya Curtisii, or as I like to call it, Hoya Curtisii. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. Okay, let's get into it. Our Hoyas, the mama here, is grown in soil. She's digging it. It's just an indoor potting mix. We have uh, some videos where we've done, uh, we've shown you what type of uh, potting mix we use. And we took cuttings from her, from her tendrils here, and we put, uh, we made two babies, but we're growing them in Lekka. So I'm gonna first talk about the mama plant. She's getting uh, bright light. She's you know, obviously in a hanging basket and she has these beautiful hanging little tendrils that are just coming down, just growing like gangbusters. She, oops, I'm sorry. She uh, uh, is not picky. We water her every seven to 10 days. Uh, I use a, a test uh, for seeing how much water she really needs by just sticking my finger and going down about an inch or so. And if it comes back, with like water or, or soil sticking on your finger, then you know to wait a little bit. But between seven and 10 days, she's not very picky. And I mean, just new growth everywhere with her. We do rotate her. We have her hanging on the, it's facing west where she, she is. She's getting bright light, bright indirect light, um, but doing very, very well. And it's just really, really pretty. It's a really, really pretty overall plant. And you can just see like, you know, I don't know if this contrasts it better, but look at that modeling on the leaves, right? And we did a video um, where we actually took cuttings from these tendrils here. And there's, there's, these are all, these little pieces that's sticking off the side here, y'all, are roots. Those are little roots, just like a pothos would do it. The striped wax plant does that as well. And that's how we made these guys here, if we zoom back out to the babies. This whole, these two were all from cuttings from Mama here and put her in LECA. Now this is a different growing medium. LECA stands for Light um, uh, Expanded Clay Aggregate, LECA. And it's um, a semi-hydro uh, way of growing. And I don't know if you can see, look at all those roots just doing their thing. They're loving it. Loving it. And we're gonna go and do a flush because there's been some buildup. And you'll see this when you're growing plants in Lekka, and I'll talk to Lekka a little bit right now. Um, this clay pebble is um, um, a semi-hydro uh, environment for plants. So it's, it's different than soil, but it allows a lot of airflow. And the pebbles, because they're, they're expanded, there's little pores inside, they create this wicking action. So actually in the bottom of this larger pot here is a little bit of a water nutrient mix. We use a, a, a Jax 20-20-20, but we do it half strength. And we, we fill it up to the bottom uh, one third, but it depends on your plant. If your roots are up high, you may need to add a little more water. And this is self-watering, so you don't have to water every seven to 10 days. You, you, you just gotta check the plant, look down into the, into the container and see how much, um, pull it up again for you, see how much nutrient solution is in there. And you can change this out every uh, month. Uh, we sometimes do it a little bit longer than that. We should probably stick to a month, but we just look at our plants and see how they're doing. And um, we'll, we'll address it at, um, as needed. We have some other Hoyas that are growing in Lekka and they're getting a lot of salt buildup, which is this white crusty, white crusty edge that gets on top of the LECA. And that, that will happen when you add the fertilizer. It'll, it'll just sit there and it'll look very, very white. It almost looks like a whole bunch of mealybugs sitting on the LECA. But to, to, to avoid that or, or, or remedy that, you, you do what you call our flushing, flushing for, for the, the Hoyas and, or any plant growing in LECA. And that means you just take it to your sink, and we'll, we'll do that now, um, and we'll just turn on the water at just about, not just room temperature, just not, not hot, not cold, just Goldilocks temperature. And you just wash it through, clean out the bottom. They call this the cash pot or the cash pot. Um, 
it's just the, the, the outer container because the, these will hold some, some residue. Uh, it'll also hold up some, some LECA dust that sometimes when, when well, you're supposed to wash your LECA real well before you use it. And we, we've done videos to that. But sometimes LECA uh, will still break apart and little pieces of the dust will get down into the container. So you want to clean that out, clean the sides, and um, flush it with just you know a minute or so just through the faucet real light with a spray and then you put it back in the container and you're, you put your nutrient solution. Like I said, we use a Jax 20-20-20, but half strength. And to set it back on the, on the shelf, you have one over here growing, another one in the other part of the, the, the house, uh, over in the living room. And they've just been doing some wild things. Some, some parts of the, these guys were growing down for a while and then they stopped and they kind of just sort of just stopped putting out leaves. And then they come back up here and they're showing you little babies. There's a baby. And there's another one here. If you if you know about Hoyas, they do this this tip here, this little spear tip. We sometimes think that that's that that is the end. That is the the edge. That is a dead piece. That is actually new growth ready to come out. So those are new new little spears that will bring out little babies, like you can see the little leaf down there. And they'll just start. You know, this one's actually breaking off from the central the central uh, tendril that we took from Mama. And so it's doing really well. Um, added quite a bit of length since when we it was, uh, did this uh, many months ago. And so why don't we go on to the next step of flushing, all right? Now we have our two Hoyas in our kitchen sink. And what we're gonna do is just flush, flush them with just some uh, tepid water, room temperature. It's, you can see how there's some residue left here in this this original uh, the, the cash po container. We're gonna rinse that out and clean that up. Uh, but for for flushing, what I'm gonna do we set this already for, for just tepid water, not too hot, not too cold, just the Goldilocks, and you simply flush it. This is flushing. And you sort of rotate it around, give it some water. So what you're gonna do is and why you do this, especially if you're adding fertilizer to your LECA, is that you can build up salts, residual salts from the fertilizer mix that goes into your uh, container, your neck contain, uh, into your cash po and through your neck container. And those will, and I'll pull a pebble over here from another plant, it's not in these, but do you see that, y'all? Do you see that? That's a buildup of salts from from the uh, another plant we have, a Hoya, that, that we added some fertilizer to, to the LECA container and it, it needs to be flushed out. So, you, so when you see that in your plant, you need to do that. And then you just look around your plant, see if you see anything that doesn't that looks abnormal. Here you can see all the healthy roots actually coming out the bottom here. Oh, it's so hot. And you just rinse it off. That's all you're doing. It's just sort of doing a flush. Now I'm gonna just set that aside. And just with a towel, to sort of clean out your your container. Sort of get the, the leftover uh, residue from the many of the leca that dust that has broken free from the the, the pebbles. And turn this off. You fill it with that weak solution that I told you of Peter's 202020 for this this plant. Um, you can't you can't add a bloom, but you know foyers don't bloom um, that often. Um, so a 2020 is just good for growth, just overall health. And we do a weaker solution, so we do a little bit of about half uh, solution uh, of uh, Jack's 202020, and that's just about one third, just a little bit below one third in our our neck container because we have roots that have really gone down. So we don't want our um, we don't want, it's happy growing like that. So you want to just check each of your Hoyas and see where their roots are actually hanging out in those clay pebbles on the side of the net pot. And that is basically it. That is it. And you just set this guy down and just let him go to town. Let him go to town, Foxy Brown. So I'm going to do the other one now and then I'll do, we're gonna, we're gonna go into a summary of the plants, a written summary for you all, so you can uh, get some of these instructions. And um, then we'll just do the little closeout talk. So let's just 
do this guy. Let's show you show you what we got in there. Oh, we got some pebbles in there. You can see the the uh, fertilizer solution. Get those pieces of the leka out. So we're going to go now to uh, we'll close up and care instructions for you and then we'll wrap it up in a minute. Thanks for stopping by. And if you have any questions about the Stripe Wax Plant, or Hoya Kurtzii, as I call it, uh, please leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. And if you find value in our videos, please consider subscribing. Again, my name is Michael. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks. Thank you.